welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might explode some winter plan. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I just I just put a log on the end of a spear, Jonas, and it gave it plus two. Is that how life works? Yeah. What is this? And that's, oh, it's Bulbarara and Reju. Bulbasaur? <laughs> I'm sorry. I really wanted to start the dialogue there. All right, Link, look. Look, Link. There's a Gibdo hive. Gibdo Schmibdo. Just like the one that appeared in Karakara Bazaar. Karakara Bazaar. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time, too. Son of a... But it's not the only one hive. There are How three many? to deal with. Three? Each just outside the town gates. Do you need a clairvoyant? Oh, I don't need a clairvoyant and clairvoyant sand seal to know something. A massive Gibdos attack is coming. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they are vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. So what they when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Huh? Oh no. Huh? Come. <laughs> Already Come. did, buddy. Come. Uh, too late. Can't. I need thirty minutes. Oh, that's what you meant. Is it Zelda? Again, you heard it, didn't you? I did hear it that time. Come, it's calling out to us. Mm -hmm. Lady Riju, Link, is something to matter. I thought it's nothing. Link, for now, we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. Goddamn right. We must prepare for battle. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Let's Why prepare. Why she's so for, aggressive? Let's prepare for some battle, I guess. I don't know, dude. She's super, uh, she's got to protect her people or whatever. Let's just make sure there's not a hidden chest up here real quick. She's yeah. super saiyan. It's the beginning of the episode. Yeah, yeah, she's super saying. You said it. You figured it out. This guy gets it. God damn it, Jones. You should just write the games yes. at this point. Just instead of Link and Riju, it'd just be Goku and Vegeta. <laughs> I don't even know. A show is. you've seen none of. I know who Goku is. Uh, do you know who Gogeta is? I feel like. Is that his dad? Okay, well, you know what? We're just going to stop right there. There was like the old guy when he was like for like seven episodes. <laughs> yes, that that happened. The sand shroud. That's a, that's a good take on the entire series. <laughs> the sand shroud. The sudden appearance of the Gibdos in their hive. Strange events keep happening one after another. And and we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hadn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. There's something bigger going on. But for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand. Prepare to fight. Link, I need your help Damn, again. Damn, she just wants you to fight, dude. Speak with Ballerina and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Fam, what the fudge? Now I got to go out here and be morale-boosting the man guy? You ever talk to the, uh, Maybe the I don't guy in there? That. Pardon? Do you ever talk to the guy in there? I don't know. She told me to go talk to, uh, yeah, this is Ballerina, and that's a woman, not a guy. <laughs> Do oh. you have it? They're all women. That's kind of the caveat of coming here. Do you have any questions about preparing for the battle? Uh, Sure. What's the plan? First off. Okay. Talk to the captains in the yard. Work. Uh, decide the best way to deploy our forces. forces. Sure. And then... Prada's in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have at hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them, sure. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Bet. Oh. Do you have any questions about preparing for the battle? No. Tell me about the enemy. Mm. The gift those that we encounter in the desert, they uh, fall. They do not fall easily when struck attacks against them to dull the blade. But fire attacks, okay, as long as Lady Reju's lightning attack, okay, appear to be very effective. Oh. Rather than relying on the brute force like with swords we should try to explode them or use damage on or use five magic damage i got gotcha. you 
Uh, that's enough for now. Sure. All right. Fine. We'll go a and talk. Lot to of information. It is. I try to get to her pretty fast. I feel like I did a, a good job. We still have way more to do. We have to go talk to this lady. We're not going to talk to each individual chick out here, but we will talk to you. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. I won't be long before we need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send in there? Uh, we could spread them out lightly over the gates or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. We need to decide. All right. Uh, the spear troops, the sword troops, and the concierge. Let's see. The spear troops. Uh, the spear troops. Where do you want them to go? Bro, how do I even know? <laughs> like, how do I even know, dude? I don't know. Send them to the east, I guess. Uh. Understand, they will defend the east gate. All right. And then, have you decided? The sword troops. Sure. Send them to the west gate. Yeah. Like, is there a strategy? Bro, I don't effing know. This is the first time I've ever done you. The same question you're asking, I'm asking myself in my head. The soup. Wait. Ooh, Ooh the cannoners to the west. Uh, no, I sent the other guys to the west. So we send these guys to the north gate. Ah. Understood. They will defend the north gate. Okay. okay. Sure. I guess. All right. I set up the troops. They're good to go. Oh, I do boat, need a bow dude, a too. Bow? I do need a bow too. All right, we're a back. We're back garubo. on the bows. A garubo. That's pretty good. I like that, Jones. Keep it up. <laughs> a garubo. Keep it up. You have a positive, positive uh, impact feed. on your life. Thank positive you. Positive feedback from me. What's in here? Yeah, gotta affirm that uniqueness uh, oh man they don't care about kissing vows in here at all it's on the chalkboard but god they don't. damn it why'd they cancel it <laughs> because the village is under attack maybe i don't know maybe they're scared for their lives or whatever you just wanted to see someone talk about garubobo hoes oh, why all their statues gotta have these thighs i don't understand do they all have women parts it's just a lot of thighs going on out here i'm just gonna take all of this it escalated really quickly where it just let you have everything. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is new. Flamey Meter, steak, and what the hell is this? A mirror. What does the mirror do? It can provide powerful long distance illumination and can ward off some monsters. Huh. It's the first time I've ever seen one of those. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. That's very interesting, too. Arrows, typical. Uh, where's my log spear? I definitely want this out forever. Oh my god! What? Do you get all the stuff? Dude, I'll definitely want... Oh my god! I didn't even see the chest. I just saw the weapon rack. Why are they giving you so many things? It must I'm be a assume. big old battle. <laughs> I think that's what they've been leading up to, Jonas. But uh, electric Lazithos horn. Hell Ooh, yeah, nice. dude. Do we have anything with a fire ability attached to it? $100? <gasps> oh, my God. There's so many things. They gave you, Oh, my God. They gave you a lot. All right. So I do want... I can't carry any more weapons until I uh, decide what I want to keep and leave. Can I get the bow, please? Okay. Well, fine. That's what I really want is the bow. Uh, we can go ahead and drop this piece of crap and pick up this piece of crap and then switch to this piece of crap. <laughs> I've never seen this. Gerudo Scimitar. Oh, God, dude. That's like a murder weapon. Huh. Can I pick up the shield? Gerudo Shield. I cannot pick up the shield. Bro, this like... You got a whack shield, dude. Drop that 11. Like, but I would like if I could, like, hold more stuff. Don't you? Aren't you able to later? I think so, man. I think I'm still being gated a little bit. I do not need this flame emitter. Oh wait, you know what? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Drop that. Pick that up. Now we're gonna because they said that uh, the Gibdos are affected by fire attacks. We are going to keep a flame emitter on something. In fact, Ooh. it may even be good for me to put a flame emitter on like the weapon I have now so 
yeah, let's select the weapon I have now. I keep I don't remember what screen it is that you can actually destroy the material is the problem here. Oh. Uh. <laughs> because it's certain screens you can do stuff, certain screens you can't. All right, that gave it a plus two, but it also gives me a little bit of a fire attack, so I can use it on, on the uh, Gibdos if we should encounter them. And then I can switch weapons if need be and attack them verily. All right, look, I talked to all your people, man. Are we ready to go or, like, whatever? Are the preparations complete? Oh, I didn't talk to your people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? You're absolutely right, Jonas. I forgot to talk to this lady. She just prob she probably just going to say, hey, take all my ish. But I just want to make sure. I've been guarding the materials. I think it might be. Uh, feel free to take anything you want. Also, I'm confident to build a barricade at any of the gates. Would you? Oh, see, now this is important. Let's build a barricade. Oh. All right, there are three gates from the place. Which one do you want to build a barricade for? All right, uh, I'm going to build one for the north gate because that is the one that the cannoners are at. And yeah. I, and they have long range attacks, so it only makes sense. You're like um. Right. What's the uh, Art of War guy? Uh, Shang Tsu? Yeah, you're like him. Shang Tsu's the Art of War? Yep. Shang Tsung? Shang Tsung's Art of War. <laughs> Shang Tsung's Art of War. All right, baby, let's go and talk to Riju, get this freaking party crackalating. Get things percolating. Hey, are all the preparations complete? They are. Yeah. All right, man. Big loading screen means that we're going to have a big battle ahead, dude. I'm Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors time. Link. I'm curious about the that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm. Uh oh, it's pulsating. Ew, it's like plop, plop, plop. I'm gonna get so many Gibdos bones. Situation report! Large number of Gibdos are moving to attack the town! Before anything else, we need to deal with this. I'm ready. I'm ready, Riju. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of them. There is. Like, who am I protecting, though? Like, Everyone. Do, like, do I care if they make it into the town? I don't know. But Lorena, they have, a, they have the town surrounded. Stay strong. The threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we will wipe them out one by one in battle. Hives and all. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Go. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the power of the Gerudo. Ooh. Everyone, Everyone protect, protect our chief, chief. and protect our, our town. town. Yep. And on the next episode, we gonna do exactly that. ABC BBD. Protect that ass. Yeah. That's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.